Hi, you're watching A Better Day, A Better Life, and I'm your host, Debbie Givens, the show that brings you tips and tools and resources, advice uh, to help you uh, start your day and also to help enlighten you uh, so that you can live a better day and have a better life. With me today, uh, I've had him as a guest many times, and the information and advice that he gives us is so, uh, I don't know, it's vital to me. And I'm proud to have him back, Lloyd Strayhorn, astrology numerologist. Thank you for coming back on the Thank show. Thank you, beautiful. How Thank are you? you? I'm great. And good um, to see you again, Debbie. Good to be back. Now, now I had brought up about family astrology. I was telling you before the show mm -hmm. that um, taking my family as an example, we have a number of Tauruses, and yeah. not just in the immediate family, but you know, immediate cousins. And mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, whoa, mm -hmm. um, kind of fascinating. And, I, and I've heard other people who recognize, it, yeah, we have a lot of X or Y sign in our yeah. family. Yeah. You know, um, so, and you mentioned you're doing a book. You have another book that uh, you're planning to write. I'm working on a book now. It's called Lloyd's Book of Numbers and Numerology Guide for the 21st Century. Interesting. What do you mm -hmm. plan to cover in there? Um, uh, everything. Mm, okay. Everything mm -hmm. from relationships to working, to career, to children, to health, to diet and nutrition, to vacations and best places to live. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be great. Yeah, that's what I want to know because you and I, again, we're, discussed, we're talking before the show and I mm -hmm. was, you know, I, you know, definitely plans to move, you know, but what's the best, mm -hmm. you know, what Certain what I... cities are better. For mm -hmm. example, you're a number one. Right. New York is a number one city. Right. Atlanta is a number one city. Ah, that's why people Boston is a number go. one city. Boston, you see? okay. And I mean, there are other number one cities. Right, Seattle. And, but there are other number two cities, number three cities. So mm -hmm. it's about finding out how do I determine your number. And as an astronumerologist, what I do is I take the person's date of birth. So yes, you're a Taurus, but you're born on the 10th of May. By the way, Rick Santorum is in that bag too, and he's a Taurus, okay? I remember, <laughs> I, I was horrified when I saw he had the same birthday. And he's born the same day as you. Yes. Um, <laughs> so he didn't make the top 10 in the initial debate, but he got in in the second minor debate. Mm. Um, so therefore, you no longer become a Taurus to me. You become a Taurus one person because you're born on the 10th day of the month. Right. The one plus zero is one. So, for example, if you look at Donald Trump, he's a Gemini, but he's a Gemini 5 because he's born on the 14th. If you take Bill, uh, Chris Christie, he's a Virgo, but he's a Virgo 6. Mm. If you look at Ben Carson, he's a Virgo 9 because he's born on the 18th. Right. If you look at Lindsey Graham that was also in there that we didn't mention, who okay. was born on July 18th, he's a Cancer, but he's a Cancer 9. Mm -hmm. Now, ironically, uh, more Cancers have been elected like Virgos and Aquarius, and he, Lindsey Graham, happened to be born on the 18th. One plus eight is nine. Right. But Donald Trump ragged the brother so much, okay? Oh, my God. Gave out his phone number out there for everybody and their mother to call him. And so he, it hasn't been the same trip ever since. Yeah, that's the dirty side of Gemini. But it's business. It's business. <laughs> it's See, business. It's business. <laughs> see, it's not politics. So well, but what we interested is see if he stays in for the long run. Over. He can just take mm -hmm. a business flight. And sometimes... You know, with business persons, they have to make what are called hard-nosed decisions. And moves. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. But it's all about the dollar bill. <laughs> well, speaking of numbers, um, you have a class coming up. Yes. I'm going to be teaching a five-week workshop, a five-week course at the City College of New York. Okay. And the course is How to Read a Person Like a Book. Okay, so you're offering it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it starts September the 16th, mm -hmm. and uh, the number for people if they want to call and register is 212-650-7321. Uh, okay, what's that number again? 212-650-7321. Uh, okay, and, and, and everyone can uh, sign up, sign yeah. up for this class? Mm -hmm. and online at City College. It's in professional education, professional continuing education. And sign up, and it's great. I've been teaching mm -hmm. it for the last two years. And it was probably an evening course? It is an evening course from 6.30 to 8.30 for five weeks. Okay, during, some, very during the week. Mm -hmm. It's always on a Wednesday. And Wednesday is it is required reading day. for the class? <laughs> yes, yes, my book. Okay, <laughs> Num numbers and you. Okay, yeah, so how to read book. a person is going to go by numbers, and but also you, you, so there's some astrology in there? Well, yes, because what I do in the lesson plans, by the time they get to lessons 8, 9, and 10, I begin to merge astrology. And because more people are familiar with astrology, but actually numerology is older. Mm. Um, it's like the question of the chicken and the egg, which came first. 
numerology came first because anybody who's ever gotten a chart done know when you go to an astrologer you got to give them sets of numbers you got to give them your birthday which right. is the number of the month the number of the day the number of the year the number of the time you were born perfectly and then right. the location so they can can figure out the longitude and the latitude which you determine the numbers so everything is numbers wow and you yeah, know what I'll tell, uh, especially the guys, you know, we guys is always looking at the most beautiful. I says, man, suppose you met the most beautiful woman in the world and you wanted to get to know her and says, honey, can I get your number? She says, just dial any number. <laughs> man, you be calling till the cows come home. But if you get the right 10 numbers in the right order, you get the you right make it, results. You make your connection. And you get the right connection. Can I Thank you. <laughs> and, that's, and that's part of the, you know, that's part of the, so the, the, the reason goal, to use astrology, numerology, so and your course. So what, your what numerology does is help you be in the right place at the right time in perfect harmony with the universe. Yes. Now, people don't look at it like that. What people know. No, but say that again because that's really important. Yeah, well, with numerology, it is designed to make sure that you're in the right place at the right time in perfect harmony with the universe. Now, what people people don't think of that. What people think of is, man, they was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I've never heard them say the opposite. But when things didn't go right, well, that's because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, mm. so very rarely do people say, well, Stray, how can I be in the right place at the right time? Yes, and that's what Look we want to know birthday. because that's how we we can have a better day and live a better life. Yes, if we are in the right place at the right time, and if and some of this information we can get from astrology and numerology. Yep, 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 and they can get it from my bestseller numbers in you or my forthcoming book. Right. And, and the mention of the title, or do you have a it's working title? Lloyd, no, it's, I do have the title. It's mm. Lloyd's Book of Numbers, A Numerology Guide for the 21st Century. Now, both your books um, that you have, you have another book. Yeah, do this you, is my third book. This, okay, this mm. is your third book. Yes, that's oh, what are your other, what are your other two books? The other books were called Numbers in You. Okay. The publisher at that time, I had, had a popular radio station uh, show on WBLS, WLIB. I was on uh, WWRL. And everything was called Numbers and You. And they says, no, Lloyd, you know, everybody knows you as Numbers and You. So I had them put, please make sure it has been revised and expanded. So when they're picking it up, they don't think they're picking up the same book. Okay. Um, so I guess this one, I'm going to change so there's okay. no confusion. <laughs> and is there less books on numerology than there are on astrology? Is that why you chose to talk about numerology? or you Yeah, there are far less books on the subject of numerology and tons of books on astrology. Um, but whether it's astrology or numerology, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. Everybody. You, you can't pick up a paper without looking at the horoscopes. The only no, papers can't. except the Wall Street <laughs> Journal and the New York Times, those are the only two that don't carry a horoscope. Mm. Uh, if you look at even the local newspapers, Metro, AM, Daily News, Post, whatever they got, they all got a horoscope section, whether you believe it or not, they all got a horoscope section. And right, and when we even read magazines, them. like O Magazine. Yeah, yeah, you know or even TV saying? Guide. L. TV. L. But L is the only magazine that features a numerology column. Oh. That's the difference with that magazine. Oh. Harper's Bizarre, somebody... Vogue, all of them except L. And that's the There's first place you've ever seen a numerology column? In my, in my experience, yes. Because hmm. I try to do research to find out where these things are. To, to understand that it's not just an isolated, in a corner thing that millions and millions and millions and millions of people, countless hundreds of millions of people tune in every day to either read their horoscope, listen to somebody's radio program about it. And I've been doing this for umpteen years and I've never met anybody that was bored to say, How many yeah. years? Give us umpteen a ballpark. Years. <laughs> well, let's go back to, I won't say the start of astrology, you're saying the numerology is a little bit older than astrology? It is much older, yes. And I'm assuming it was used back in the time of ancient yeah, Greece, yeah, um, yeah. ancient Egypt. My questions about these origins of astrology, numerology, is who were the people, who were the men and women that sat down and says, well, you know, anybody born between May 20, April 22nd and May 20th would be Tauruses. Mm. How did they assign? See, those are the kind of questions I met at this level. Mm. See, how, why was Taurus assigned, the bull assigned to Taurus? How was the twins assigned to Gemini? Why was the fish assigned to, and who did it? Who assigned it? That's how interesting. Hmm, I, who, only, who, I only have vague says knowledge that of that, but. If the number one means those are people who don't take orders well, they make lawyers, they make doctors, they make scientists, they make entrepreneurs, they make heads of governments, heads of states, uh, 
I mean, I can name ones all day long that represent mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Who decided if you're number one, that would be the characterization the of that characteristic of that particular number? Yeah, so right. I so I know this. Whoever did it, it still stands the test of time. Wow. And that's all that counts. No, and I'm glad we have it. I mean, mm -hmm. again, you know, this show is about giving people tools, resources, tips, advice, mm -hmm. um, wisdom, mm -hmm. <laughs> knowledge, um, even if it's ancient knowledge mm -hmm. um, that we can use um, to, you know, I always figure it's about f figuring yourself out, you know, doing inner work mm -hmm. and Well, really, and, and that's what it's designed to do to, to thine own self be true, as Shakespeare says, but more to so not only to thine own self be true, but then understand the other people in your space, in your world, in mm -hmm. your environment, your mom, your dad. For example, you had mentioned, and we just uh, touched, touched on it. a little mm -hmm. bit about the family. Right. But why is it that one parent will fuss at one child more than the other who did something just as bad? I found out, and, I, and one of the chapters I'm going to have in my new book is called Forensic Numerology. Wow. Yeah, which That's is a new how word. To, yeah, mm. where by taking the birthday of the particular person, I can either link it to his mom or dad, or link it to his mate or, and or children mm. or friends. Interesting. Everything tends to follow. Wow. For example, there was a gentleman, a uh, student I taught. Uh, he's a life coach now. He's a Virgo born on the 2nd of September. Mm. Well, he Two. had three marriages. One was on the 11th, one was on the 20th, and the other woman he married was on the 29th. So if you look at it, he's born on the 2nd. He married the first one on the 11th. One plus one is two. Then he married the next one on the 20th. And she was born on the 20th, two plus zeros, two. Then he did the, uh, uh, married his third wife, who was born on the 29th. Now, for example, in 2012 election, there was the debate between Vice President Al Gore, and, I mean, uh, no, Biden, Biden right. and uh, Ryan. I think that was his name. Uh, Paul Ryan? Or? Paul Ryan, okay. something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, the event or Ryan Paul, because then there's yeah, Ron whatever, Paul. Paul mm -hmm. Ryan, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the <laughs> event took place on the second. Joe Biden was born on the sec on the twentieth. That's a two. Then uh, Ryan was born on the 29th in Aquarius, mm -hmm. which is a two. The date of the interview took place on a two, and the interview was Gwen Eiffel, who was born October second. Good, which is great. A two. So did that favor either one of them, or no, actually it was, it was a good day for both of them? It was a, a, a good them. day for both of them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. See, but it's like lining things up. Right. That's all. Well, that's a good thing to know. I mean, you know, should Give I get a job interview? It's like, okay, I can't have it on, on a nine day. Give I need to have it on a one day. how things is when I saw <laughs> the movie Dream Girls with Beyonce, Nikki Noni Rose, Jennifer Hudson. Right. I says, whoever did it, I wonder whether they were astrologers. Why? All three of the main character women were Virgos. Really? Nikki no um, All three Beyonce of them? was born September fourth. Nikki Noni Rose was born September sixth. And Jennifer Hudson was born September twelfth. All Virgos. Within wow. a matter of a week and a half. Oh. Yeah. So I'm yes. I'm very conscious of observing these things. And that would make you think that okay, so then you're thinking, okay, well who was the casting director, right? And the and the yeah. director and what were their signs? But if you look at the male protagonists in the in the movie, Jamie Foxx and um, Eddie Murphy, uh, Eddie Murphy mm. both of them were fire signs. <gasps> wow. Yes. And I enjoyed the movie. And, and, and I enjoyed it astrologically, <laughs> saying, wow, did they know And the those Virgos, birthdays? of course, were, were the earth signs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. fire signs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I have countless examples to show how numbers, and that's going to be in the book, too. Mm. So, so it'll be numbers from real-life examples so people can see. I think what happens with numerology and astrology and human nature, I think, we're so busy looking in somebody else's backyard about them that we fail to look under our own backyard. Yes, and, and that's it. Exactly, and that's why this, this show is here. We need to look, you know, we yeah. need to, you know, keep the focus so on we, ourselves. We and so although I'll point out celebrities like Michael Jackson and his number two. He was a Virgo too, right? Yes, he was a Virgo. So it's interesting, speaking of that little tidbit, uh, Charlie Parker in the jazz era was called the King of Bop. Ah. He was born on August 29th. Well, Michael Jackson, born on August 29th, was called the King of Pop. Yes. So one was the King of Pop, the Bebop days, mm -hmm. and one was the King of Pop. Both and is born it, on the same day. Now, is there something unique about the 29th, or 
Well, Oprah Winfrey's born on the 29th. Right. She's made a ton of money. I know. That's why I'm wishing I was born on the 29th. But I'll take 10 because... No, 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 no. But see, this is the point. <laughs> That's why I have a chapter in the book on money. Mm -hmm. Because no matter what your number, I can give you a list of people who are super wealthy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ah, for so any of the three... For any of the number. Uh, any whether of the ten, number nine one, numbers. Whether you're number two, mm. whether you're number three, whether you're number four. But I will say this. Of all the money makers, number sixes tend to make the most money. Really? Six? That is those born on the 6th, the 15th, or the 24th. Oh. So when you look at Howard Hughes, he was born on the 15th. Mm -hmm. If you look at J. Paul Getty, he was born on the 24th. No, Howard Hughes was born on the 24th. J. Paul Getty was born on the 15th, for example. Mm. Um, and then, or if you're under a Taurus. So you're a Taurus. Ah. Of course, Taurus rules the second house in right. astrology called the house of possession or money. Exactly. You see exactly. what I'm saying? Because the first house is, 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 is ruled by Aries, and the first house is what? The self, right? That's right. And, and the so house of possessions, which is, if you want to know how you're going to make your money, the 10th house is the house of Korea. That's Capricorn. Mm. But both these houses, the second house and the 10th house, are earth signs. Right. Earth people are very pragmatic. Right. So if you look at the New York Stock Exchange, it was founded under the sign of Taurus on May 17th. Thank goodness. When it's doing well, don't they say it's bullish? Well, what is the sign assigned to? I mean, it's so obvious in your face type of things that people see it and they don't see it. Right. It's the, the lingo or the the um, secret reference to it is in what people call it. And if you go to Wall Street, you'll see a big old bull down yeah. there, okay? That and everybody gets you. their picture taken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only thing when they say it's bearish, I don't know where they got that from, but I know where they got the bull from. When it's doing well, it's bullish. Mm. Wow. So... So you're well, in a actually, good spot, really. You're in a good place. <laughs> well, this isn't just for me, but I would like, you know, I do want to know because I, you know, I've, I've, I've felt shaky, but I don't know if that's because... No, all of us, I think it's human nature that all of us want to do better. Right. All of us want to be better. Mm. Um, and sometimes in the moments, those moments of doubts, uh, as we were talking before the show started, taking another Virgo moving forward next month, uh, Tyler Perry. Ah. That Tyler Perry in California, a lot of people don't know that this man was once homeless. Isn't that something? Didn't have a pot or you know what, mm. or a place to sleep, and had somebody at that moment says, you know what, buddy? One day you're gonna be a multimillionaire, you're going to have countless movies making millions and millions of dollars. You're going to have TV sitcom. You're going to have a studio in Atlanta. The president's going to come down and visit, although they tried to burn it up. But that's I another that. thing. I noticed that, yeah. Okay, we, you know, got some haters because he's born on the 13th. It's a four, and four is the number of secret enemies. But that's oh, a whole other thing. Oh, really? Four? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the number of secret enemies. Well, Jealousy both my parents is, oh, both my parents are born on the 4th of the month. Yeah, but they tend to be misunderstood. See, now, your parents' numbers are the four and one and your numbers are the one and four, and that's the link. That's no, they're both fours. Yes, but mm. four has a companionship number. Oh. See, the, the, they're the sun numbers, the moon numbers, the sun numbers are the one and the four. The number one, your number rules the summer side of the sun where the daylight is longer, the temperature is higher. The number four rules the winter side of the sun where the daylight is shorter and ah. the temperature is cooler. Ah. So if you say a one, I automatically tag in the four. Oh. So since she's a four, your parents are poor, I automatically tag in the one. Oh. To give an example of that, President Obama is a number four. Does he not have you. open enemies, secret enemies? Yeah, all kinds secret. of enemies. They haven't made it secret. But, but for being visionary, they tend to be able to, and despite the lack of cooperation in both houses, he's still been able to accomplish what he did, which is sort of amazing. This is why I wrote an article recently saying that this man, President Barack Hussein Obama, will be in... Uh, the Guinness Records considered one of the greatest, greatest presidents this nation has had. Wow. Can't prove it yet. Because he's a four. Now, what about Hillary? Not Let's say just she... a four, but he did the Affordable Care Act, right. uh, which they want to call Obamacare. In, right. in psychology, when I was studying that, those are called charge words. And they did an interesting TV interview where a guy in the street went out and says, do you like Obamacare? They says, no. Well, what about the Affordable Care Act? They said, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So it's designed to... to move people in another direction, but it is the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, period. Right. And by the way, it has five letters, because his numbers are the four, one, and five, the president's numbers. Now, Hillary is born on the 26th of the month, so mm -hmm. that makes her an eight. What her numbers are the eight, nine, and six. Mm. And that's why next year is going to be important to her, mm. because nine is one of her numbers. Oh. 2016 also adds up to a nine, plus the governor's a sign of Scorpio. Mm. And you had also predicted that the next president would be Democratic. 
Yes, probably so, based mm. upon what's happening on the Republican side. Of <laughs> <laughs> yes, they continue to have a show. They're going to sort all that out. Mm -hmm. but, but there's actually there's more probably going on behind the doors than what we see when we turn on our sets to watch what's going up on the front. Right. Right now, it just looks like a show. Yeah, because, uh, as you know, one of the things they was talking of, well, he really shouldn't be, he referring to Donald Trump, a part of this, because he's, you know, loud mouth, and, but he's just being very honest and direct. He is saying that which the politicians would not want to say because it's not the political thing to say. And he jumps in every, I mean, isn't he jumped in in the, the past three elections and it has not been his time? Yeah. And I don't know if it, uh, based on what you've already said, <laughs> being him, and him being a Gemini, you know, it's not his time, but he seems to be the pot stirrer. You know, the, well, uh, he's again, stirred he, up a lot of pots. Uh, mm -hmm. He's been very honest and he's called some people out, and all it, the politicians. And too. is that typical of a Gemini? Well, with Gemini's, it's an air sign. It's a mutable sign. Which mutable. Means you don't know how they're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, but I mean, it's good. Mutable signs mean there, there are three types of signs. There are the cardinal signs. The cardinal signs represent the change of the seasons. Thus, mm. Aries is spring, Cancer is summer, Libra is fall, and Capricorn is winter. Mm. Then you have the fixed signs, which means once the weather, once the seasons change, now we're deep into it. That's the fixed signs. Mm -hmm. So that would be Taurus. That's you. Right. Uh, that's spring, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then Leo. Summer. Uh huh. Um, yeah, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. So the Aquarius is the the winter. And then they are the mutable signs. Those signs that are changing, just as we're now about to leave one season and just before we edge into another season. And you said and those Gemini. those mutable signs are Gemini and Virgo and Sagittarius and Pisces. Sagittarius, So everybody right. plays their role. Right. And so, and, and listen, <laughs> since you can't change your sign, I mean, you can lie about it, but since you can't change your sign or your number, my my objective is why not understand it so you can maximize it. Make exactly, use of it. that's why you can't change. I keep bringing you on the show and we keep talking about astrology mm -hmm. and numerology because it's it's about I'm not saying getting the advantage because you and I talked about the mm -hmm. ethics of it and mm -hmm. people using it to their advantage, which is to somebody else's disadvantage. Mm -hmm. But you know, as you know, as part of the the journey and figuring all this out, why am I here? Yeah, you know, what is yeah. my purpose? And then getting to doing that purpose despite all the obstacles and despite all the, um, you know, the misgivings you have about <laughs> having yeah, your purpose. And, and in human nature, we mm -hmm. have it where it's always something. You know, like for example, I want to be real tall, but. Mother Nature said, that's it, fella. So what you going to do? Exactly. So Work do with I roll it. over and play dead? Mm. Do I not be productive or whatever the case is? So, so we, they, it seems to be human nature. And when it's hot, we want it cold. When it's cold, we want it hot. When, we're when with it's straight, we want it curly. Be, yeah, <laughs> when we're with somebody, we want to be by ourselves. When we by ourselves, we want to go figure, human nature. Right. We always want what we don't have. <laughs> At that moment. But... We always have hope if we, you know, know ourselves. And again, from sure. astrology and numerology, and that's why I've been piling up all that information. Mm -hmm. And we're and we are giving you folks this information um, so that you can know yourselves and maximize the gifts and the abilities and the talents that you've been given. And if you don't know what they are, you can get a clue or or um, from astrology and numerology mm -hmm. because attributes are, mm -hmm. are, are what we learn from, uh, from, from the numbers and, and, and from our astrological sign. And they're general. You want to get a chart obviously done uh, that's specific to your birth date, time, sure, and place sure. um, well, that gives well, you more see, personal and I, and information. And you're absolutely right because when one reads a horoscope in a newspaper or magazine, that's very general at Best. Right, so sometimes it applies so to you and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't seem to fit. Right. So if you want to know, go to a professional numerologist, a professional astrologer or metaphysician and really get more specifics because there's a lot to you. And once you do, they'll understand that they all have their power periods so they can be in the right place at the right time in perfect harmony with the universe. Excellent, excellent. So, um, and that's, the, and that's the, the type of information we're trying to give you on this show. Mm -hmm. I have a toll-free number, which is 1-800-581-4401. The number again is 1-800-581-4401.
one. And on your website, you do mention the book, the book that's yeah, forthcoming. Yeah, they can purchase the book. The book can be mm -hmm. sent to them autographed. Consultations, I suppose? Yes, um, I do consultations. Okay, and that'll be available. Yeah, all, um, everything is online. Mm -hmm. uh, my CD, relationships online. Everything is online. And do you talk about astrology and numerology on separate pages on your website? Well, I do have topics. I do have, and one of them is comparing a person's birth number. If you're number one and I'm a number seven, how do we get along? If you're number two and that person's number six, how do you guys get along? So I start with the number one person. Okay. And I'll say a number one compared to a number two, mm. a number one compared to a number three, a number one compared to a number four. Oh, good, good. Yeah. So there's some information yeah. that we there's can hang our... a lot of information. That we can, we can uh, glean a little bit of information, get ourselves started mm -hmm. in knowing who we are. And, and then moving on to getting specific information, um, mm -hmm. you know, through getting a chart or some kind of consultation, which you do over the phone? Yes, I do well it on the phone and in person. Excellent, Make excellent. Sure the technology allows it where now I can be over here, you're over there, and I can record and send it to you. Right, and you also do, not tours, but you do other shows, you, you, oh, yeah, you, you travel. Oh, yeah, shows, Right, yeah. right. I'll be, on a, I'll be on a satellite show after this weekend on Monday for two hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, talking about numerology mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. excellent, excellent. So, Lloyd, I want to thank you for coming I to the thank you show. Too, it's always you. You always <laughs> have the best information for us because we get to we get a little bit closer to finding out who we That's are and and maxing out what we know. Okay. I, so am I. <laughs> so I, I wish I would be more nosy about myself than I am about other people, but well, that's it's another hard story. hard to be nosy about yourself. Yeah. Uh, you know, I. It's interesting. I can read everybody except me. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, in theory, I know what cycle I'm in, what personal month I'm in, but it's not the same as if somebody born on my birthday woke up. I'll read them just like that. Mm. Turn and around, read me. Boom, go right out the window. <laughs> go figure. I know it's it's it, it's hard, but that's the purpose of the show: self-focus, focus on ourselves, yep. improve ourselves, evolve, transcend. You know, whatever we're going through. So I'm so glad that all of you have tuned in. This has been a better day, a better life. I'm your host, Debbie Givens, and with me has been uh, Lloyd Strahan, astro numerologist. And I have enjoyed myself to no end. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for, for coming on the show again, and Anytime. hopefully we'll see you in the future. Good luck. Oh yeah, thanks, Simone. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody.